We are with Susan Wong, Editor-in-Chief of uh, Revolution Singapore for her top five. But her top five is obviously a little bit different because we're going to talk about categories instead of just products. So, so sort of similar to my last video that I did with you guys, I've decided to go with the categorization system because everyone likes categories and it's more fun. What was the best dress watch we saw? What is the most innovative watch? What's the biggest surprise? Um, what's the best sports watch? And uh, why am I wearing these gold leggings? <laughs> Uh, hopefully by the end we have some answers to this. So, we will start off with the biggest surprise at this fair and I have to say, I have to give it to the Mont Blanc, their perpetual calendar, the heritage perpetual calendar. Now, the thing is, it's not a new design. It's a, we've seen it before. It's not a, mechanically it's nothing new. But, what's new is what it's actually going to do to the market because um, what's interesting about it is the price, which is 10,000 euros. And uh, from what I hear, what they're calling it at Mont Blanc is they're calling it the troublemaker. And I think this is exactly what we need right now. We need a bit of excitement. We need someone who's ready to turn things over. Honestly, this is a move that takes balls and I kind of like that. That's uh, very true. And, um, actually, the entire collection is totally new in, in such a short period of time. I completely agree with you, Matt. So now let's go to number two. Okay, uh, our second category will be the best design. And I think out of everything, we will be looking at Cartier. And this is going to sound like a bit of a biased choice, but you know, it's my list and uh, I don't really care. So it's the night and day watch, which uh, honestly I love because it reminds me, I have, a, I have a total weakness for the old Cartier CPCP watches. And this to me is a complete um, flashback to the past and I love it. And it's completely beautiful. I can't really explain it, but uh, yeah, you either see it or you don't. So to me, that's the best design. Excellent. So, number three, category number three. Yes. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, best sports watch. And i got to say, it's going to be the IWC Aqua Timer, the Automatic 2000. Um, I mean, obviously, you have the very innovative complication with the, uh, the outer bezel turning the inner bezel at the same time. And I know a lot of people were confused at the start by the, uh, the element that you see at 9 o'clock. Everyone was sort of really confused. What does it do? What is it for? Is it just there for decoration? Well, I think everyone was very happy to find out that it's not just for decoration. It actually has a purpose. It hides the mechanism that um, allows the outer bezel to turn the inner bezel, which I think is kind of cool. And also the dome sapphire crystal. It's, it, it's, it's a good looking watch. It's a practical watch. It's it's best sports watch for me. Excellent. Yep. Best dress watch. I gotta say, it's the uh, it's the Van Cleef and Arpels, the Pierre Arpels, the one with the the GMT jumping hour retrograde minutes. I personally love this watch a lot because I've been waiting to see it a long time, and uh, obviously it's it's done by a good friend of ours, Jean Marc. And uh, you know, there's there's nothing I love more than seeing something that's so perfectly executed, so clean, so it's 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 clear in its expression. It's it's simple. It's it's versatile. It could I mean it's a, it's in a men's watch, but it could easily be worn on the wrist of a lady. And to me, this watch represents so much in terms of potential, in terms of design, what you could do further with this watch. And uh, yeah, this is really the kind of this probably the simplest version that we see today. Exactly. Yeah, but it probably will evolve a little bit because it's their original mechanism, indeed. Yeah, yeah. So now for your last category. My last category will be for the most innovative watch, and it's going to be. The uh, Gigi Le Coult, uh Master Ultra Thin Minute Repeater Flying Tourbillon. I wrote a, I wrote an article about it. I wrote the cover story on it in my most recent article, Revolution, which you should all buy, by the way. Yeah, don't lose any opportunities. <laughs> yes, don't cut that out, man. What I love about it is that it's um, it's not only a technically demanding and technically accomplished watch, but it also looks entirely simple. When you look at this watch, it doesn't shout. Even without the peripheral rotor, even without the minute repeater that has a patented system for skipping the uh, unchimed quarters when there are no quarters to be struck, the flying tourbillon with flying balance alone essentially makes that watch for me. It's, uh, it's completely done where there's no bridge, there's no cage, there's no tourbillon cage. So it's uh, essentially ball bearing mounted. There's so much going on with this watch. It's incredible, it's beautiful and uh, you don't even know it until you take five minutes to go into the watch, which I like. You know, I like it when watches play a bit hard to get. I think it's sexy and uh, they don't show everything at once. So. Well, you definitely seem very enthusiastic about this watch. Uh, well, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Sorry. We still need to know a few things about those, uh, those pants. Eh? I know. 
So um, the answer to the last question is uh, why am I wearing these gold leggings? The answer is that everything I'm wearing today is kind of the first thing that I picked up from my suitcase after getting dressed in five minutes for this morning. And, and why is that? And the, and the lesson to that ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls is uh, pack wisely and don't stay out late the night before. Well, we've said that already before, I think. It happens every year. Maybe one day we'll learn, or maybe not. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you at Basel.